everybody it is day 20 we made it to 20 days of me um conversations with god and today um was god telling me to keep my focus keep my focus um as things continue to get revealed in my life and as things continue to shed and it get to to get brought to to light god's like i told you at the beginning of this, this 60 day of these 20 days, right? I said, no matter what it may look like, no matter what people are doing outside of you, no matter what distractions may come, he said, keep your focus on me. And today, today it was hard. It was hard. Um, it was hard. Um, I felt felt hurt um and because I know what God has promised me and what I had seen was not what God has promised me you get what I'm saying and in the midst of that it was just like God didn't say right now it's not that he didn't promise he never said when court um and it was just a reminder didn't I say keep the faith and he said you during this season you're going to be tested. If this is what you want, you are going to be tested to see if you throw in the towel when I throw a challenge at you. No matter how big, no matter how small the challenge is, if you throw in the towel because you got into your head, you decided to doubt, you, you decided to have fear creep in. God said, Courtney, keep your focus. He said, don't you forget what I promised you. Let that drive you. Let that be your motivation. If it's not what, um, thank you, Spirit. He said, if it's not what I told you it was going to be, so why would you think that's for me? Do you understand what I'm saying? He's like, I told you, I'm going to give you what you want. But if that wasn't what you wanted, why are you even worrying about it? Um, I knew today was going to bring change. I knew today was going to, um, I knew today was going to have a beautiful meaning. Um, something positive was going to happen today. Um, not like positive things will happen every day but <sighs> today I just had a gut feeling you know and I was right I was always right I'm always right my intuition be on fucking point um but anyway so I seen a blue jay when I came home from the gym I seen a blue jay and I was like I tried to get on video and it flew around the corner and then I was like walking I really followed the damn bird y'all I was walking and then I seen a cardinal right after the blue jay like they was literally flying together never in my life have I seen a um a blue jay and a cardinal at the same time I just be really amazed and of course I had to go look up the meanings um because it was just ironic that it, it happened at the same damn time. Um, but anyway, um, I had that I had that visitor today. Remember how I told you the other day my nose has been itching? I finally had a visitor. I finally had a visitor, y'all. And I was just like, and then I, I didn't realize it until after they left. I said, I told myself, I said, I just said I didn't want no visitors. I just said that. Um, but anyway, um, today God is just keep is reminding me, Courtney, keep the faith. Don't don't stop. He was like, because as big as this, oh, you got you on a roll, God. As big as this blessing is about to be, honey, they're going to test you. They don't want you to reach this blessing. 
This is why you're being tested so much in this season. This is why God is like, I'm really shape-shifting you. I'm really working on you. Because this blessing that you're about to receive is multitude of abundance. And it's like, um, stop doubting. Doubt, 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 fear, fear, fear. It will delay your blessing. It's going to block you out. You don't want that. You want what's yours, what is divinely guided and divinely given to you. And it's just like, in order to do that, you can't let naysayers, you can't let um, haters get to you. You can't let um, fear block you. Because you want to get that blessing. You want to get to that finish line. Those distractions, man, they're going to come. They're going to look good as hell. Them, um, anything that's keeping you from your blessing, you're, you're going to know it. Your know, things be um, moving too fast, you know, um, super rushed. And I just be like, God, slow me down. Um, slow me down. I keep saying like I want to move, but I keep also in the mix of that saying like I don't feel like it's time yet. I, I feel as though like I, I'm i like, I got to go. But God's like, I need you to sit here a little bit longer. But it's like, I'm not, I just want to embrace the change. I want to go see what's out there. Like I'm, I have been going through so much in the past few days. I'm just like, um, God, show me more. <coughs> Bless me. Show me more. Um, give me that opportunity to, to go. Um, but yeah, I am, I'm happy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Um, but I'm, I'm happy that I'm continuing to fall. Um, continuing to have faith and not let doubt and fear creep in. Because God's like, I'm going to give you what you asked for. He said, you don't have to worry. He was like, I'm always going to give you what you asked for or better. I have posted on my Instagram, whatever happens is meant to happen. It's meant to make you better. It's meant to push you towards your goal. Um, even if it means that thing is being removed from your life, you know, that friendship, that job. Um, we talk about wanting a new home, wanting a new career, but we're not letting go of the old. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? We're not amending our wrongs. We, we have to sometimes go backwards to move forwards. So whatever hap happens at that time is what is meant to happen. Because it's going to work out in your favor. It always does. Always does. Just just know that you're not going to get what you didn't ask for. You're going to get that or better. So dream as big as you can. Dream as big as you can. Do as much as you choose to do. Live out your life. Because whatever you ask for, God is going to give it to you. Whatever you ask for. He's like, I just need you to keep the focus. Keep going. Keep praying. You know, even, even when times get hard, keep praying. When, when things are going your way, keep praying. The thing is, like, God, God gave me a mission to pray. And to be honest, I say, yeah, that confirmed that I'm not going to do that no more. And God's like, I didn't tell you to stop just because it's not what it looks like. It doesn't, it's not what it appears to be. He said, that's your problem. I see something and it's not what I have envisioned for that moment. I get upset and I just end, end it all. I'm like, okay. And he's like, stop. Stop. Because you don't know what I'm doing behind the scenes. You didn't know. My nose is itching again. You don't know what I am doing Um and why I'm doing it, you're going to know down the road. You're going to understand later. You're not going to understand now. It's not meant for you to understand now. But I'm, 
God be putting me in check because I be the hell tripping. Um, <clears throat> and God's like, if you keep the focus, what is meant for you will be for you. Not anybody else. It doesn't matter what has happened. What is meant for you will find you. You don't have to chase nothing. Ever. Ever. Everything that you need, God has already provided. I have never, in the past three weeks, right? In the past three weeks, I have every need met. Which, which, which reminds me on why I know I'm on the right path. That just solidifies me being on the right path. You know, when things are on an up and up and you're keeping that steady pace and you keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. It's like, you, you just know. It's like, this is how I know I'm doing good, you know, um, because I'm praying. I'm showing gratitude. I'm giving things. I'm appreciating life a lot more. As soon as, as soon as you stop praying and as soon as you fall off from doing what you're supposed to be doing is when things go wrong. It's when God's calling your attention again. And God in this season is calling people's attention. And people aren't listening. People are not listening. Um, but in this 60 days conversation with God, man, listen. I was I was a little I was a little upset today. I was a little upset today because I was like, God, this is not what you told me. You told me to stand firm on my prayer, right? You told me that um, if I did this, this will happen, and then this happened. I'm like, this is not this is this is not what we agreed to, you know? God's like, see, that's your problem. You think because it's not what you see at right now that it's not going to happen. I was like, right. So I had to go back and pray. Um, but yeah, <sighs> today is just a reminder to keep your focus. It's going to work out. It always works out. <laughs>